funny seeing you here. Well, thank you for joining me for another video. I recently took a trip to South Carolina to visit my grandmother, and let me tell you, it was very entertaining. So, let's start from the beginning. Woke up on Monday, July 22nd at 5 a.m. to go ahead and get ready and get on the plane. Uh, I was traveling with my small child, Kitty Funtime. Good morning, everybody. It is around 6.20 in the morning. Junior and I are at the airport getting ready to go down to visit my grandmother. Uh, we're heading to Myrtle Beach and we plan on seeing the Lion King, which is the whole point of this vacation. Uh, so yeah, we'll check in from time to time. She's not excited. I'm not excited to see the Lion King. I don't really think like it's going to be a, a, a good thing. Um, the Lion King is my favorite movie. I'm a huge fan, so I'm a little skeptical about a remake. But, uh, yeah, so I'll check in, let you know how things are going. Bye. Anyway, moving on. So our flight was from uh, MacArthur Airport on Long Island to Baltimore Airport in Maryland. Uh, we arrived at Baltimore Airport, and we had a two-hour layover, so we walked around a little bit, got some breakfast. Here we are in the Baltimore, Maryland. We're moving, we're moving, we're moving without moving our feet. Baltimore, Maryland Airport. Um, I have to say that the flight here from New York was shitty because not a single person on the plane would move to let me and Vanessa sit together. But she did very well sitting on her own. She slept, slept. for yeah, she slept for most of the uh, most of the plane rides. So now we're here. I We've got about a two-hour layover here in Baltimore, Maryland. We're gonna hang out, maybe get something to eat. Check out the shops am, in this place, it's like I a am, mall. I am not tired and I am hyper. And I am having these. these oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we gotta pay attention. Yeah. So we're here at the Baltimore airport and there is a Benefit Cosmetics in the machine. Let's see what we can buy. Brows, minis, eyes. Ooh, ooh, travel sets and exclusives. Oh, the pig! A luggage tag for nine dollars. Three teasy tints, cheek <laughs> and lip tints trio. Poor professional mini, California mini, and gimme brow mini. All right, um, all right. Eh. This looking big. Face. And after a while, it turns out that my small child, uh, her shoes had given her a blister. She was wearing flip-flops, and they gave her a blister between her big toe and her pointer toe? Whatever the second toe is. Uh, so, me being the best mom ever, I said, why don't we switch? Because I was wearing a cheap knockoff of Birkenstocks with no toe separation. So I said, we'll switch, we'll switch shoes. So we switch shoes, we're waiting for our flight, and lo and behold, it is delayed by about an hour. It is 12.15 right now, our plane has been delayed. We're just waiting to board, we're going to get to our destination at around 2.15 instead of 1.30, so uh, I'll keep you guys in the loop. So we're there, we're waiting, and I have to say, her shoes were really uncomfortable. I was not getting a blister between my toes like she did, but the um, the part where the thong connects to the base of the shoe was, um, it was very, it was hitting me in the middle of my foot. So after a couple, maybe half an hour, 45 minutes of that, I was in intense pain. So at this point, I was just, I wanted to get on the plane, I wanted to reach my destination, and I wanted to go buy some new shoes ASAP, because nowhere in the airport, in ba in Baltimore Airport, which is almost like a mall, nowhere in that airport were they selling uh, shoes. At least not, you know, simple shoes. They had high heels and, and fancy shoes, but really, I was just looking for a pair of comfy shoes to wear at the airport. Anyway, moving on. So we finally get on the second flight down to Charlotte, North Carolina, which is where we were landing. And lo and behold, again, nobody would switch seats with us so we could sit together. Finally, a an actual employee of the airline 
had decided that she would be able to sit in the employees area so that we could sit together. Oh, isn't that nice? Sitting in the employees area instead of uh, sitting in the actual plane, which was fully booked. Aren't you a sweetheart? Anyway, we finally arrive at the Charlotte airport. And at this point, my feet, I was, I wanted to cry. Um greeted my grandmother. Hi, Grandma. How you doing? Very nice to see you. Glad to be here. I need some shoes. We get our baggage, which also, by the way, people are extremely rude when it comes to the baggage carousel. Uh, we were waiting for there for our luggage and people were pushing us out of the way, hitting us with their bags. Like, come on, guys. Nobody traveling is stressful enough without being beaten up by your your luggage. Stop. No. Rude. So we finally get our luggage and we go to head towards the car, but um, Grandma can't remember where we parked. <laughs> At this point, I couldn't take it anymore. I took off uh, Kitty's flip-flops and I was walking around the Charlotte airport barefoot. I walked from the baggage carousel to the car completely barefoot. Finally, we get to the car. We go to the nearest shoe store, which happens to be a famous footwear in a Charlotte outlet, very close about 15 minutes away from the airport. Got myself some new slippers for some new knockoff Burks, some Madden Girl knockoff Birkenstocks. Uh, Junior over there got herself a new pair of sandals as well because obviously she couldn't wear her flip flops. Oh, I should also mention that as we landed in the Charlotte airport and I, my feet were in pain, I'm telling Junior, come on, we gotta go. We gotta, we gotta get to the baggage. We gotta get our baggage and mommy needs some new shoes because she can't wear these. So as she's rushing along, uh, her, her, her shoes, or as they actually were my shoes, got caught somehow and they, it split the shoe in half. So not only are my feet killing me because I'm wearing her flip-flops, which weren't really designed for my foot, but she also broke my shoes. So now we are both in need of new shoes. So we get to the famous footwear in Charlotte buy ourselves some new shoes. I'm so much happier now and we are well on our way. We're getting ready to head to grandma's house, which was grandma's house, which is about an hour away from Charlotte. But of course, as is our tradition, we have to stop to eat. Uh, normally we stop at IHOP, but the thing about that is, is that there are plenty of IHOPs in my area. I wanted to go someplace where we can't normally go, someplace that's not really common in New York. So we decide on Cracker Barrel. So we are finally in South Carolina. South Carolina. We had a shoe incident. We had to stop by Famous Footwear and pick up some shoes because both my and Nessa's shoes broke. And now we're here at Cracker Barrel for dinner. Are you uh, Get to Cracker Barrel, get seated, do everything, etc., etc. We're ready to order. I'm getting myself a burger. Junior's gonna have some chicken wings, and Grandma ordered um, some some sort of fish, I believe. Anyway, lovely waitress, so friendly, so nice. It was her second day on the floor waitressing, and we proved to be quite a challenging table. All right. Okay, so we're here at Cracker Barrel, and since we've gotten here. Um, <clears throat> Mama has spilled her coffee. Vanessa has spilled her soda. We vomit. We're not. I am. Uh, the waitress spilled some ice cream. We're just not having a good day. We're just. We're just. It is. We're just a mess. We just need to go home and take a nap, <laughs> and preferably not lift anything up. Luckily, the rest of the meal uh, is incident-free as far as we go. Um, unfortunately, the table behind us managed to drop some ice and his silverware, so I think it was just a case of butterfingers for everybody. Finish our meal, head on the road to go back to Grandma's house. Okay, we get there, we relax, we settle in. We settle in. Uh, the next day, we decide to go thrift store shopping. Now, I love thrift store shopping, right? So we go. Junior gets practically a whole new wardrobe. I don't find anything except for a package of travel lotion. 
And uh, from there, at this point, I should mention that I had been sick starting from Sunday night. So at this point, I'm tired, congested, cranky. So we head over to the Walmart to get, amongst other things, some cough medicine. Cold medicine, cold medicine. There we go. Get the cough medicine, get a couple of other items, some meals for the day. Head back home and just relax. Oh, I love relaxing. The next day is Wednesday, and we head to Myrtle Beach. Excuse me. Now, this is my first time at Myrtle Beach. The last time we attempted to go to Myrtle Beach, I was suffering from food poisoning. So instead of driving the two hours to Myrtle Beach, I spent the next two hours in the bathroom. It was not beautiful. It was not a good, not, not a good time. But this time we actually make it to Myrtle Beach, all right? So we finally made it to Myrtle Beach. Say hi, Nessa. Finally made it. So we are staying in a hotel right on the boardwalk. We check in. We walk around a little bit, see our surroundings. And um, after that, we decide... Not that we decided, we had planned to go see The Lion King. This was the whole point of the vacation, was for me and my grandmother to go see The Lion King, the new version, the remake of The Lion King together, because The Lion King is our favorite movie, it's our, our bonding, um, you know, that's what we share, and so when the new movie came out, I said, I have to see this with my grandma. So we go see The Lion King. We're in the theater right now, getting ready to see The Lion King. This is the whole reason why we came down to South Carolina. I'll let you know how it is. I'm a huge Lion King fan. I'm very skeptical about this movie. I'll let you know how it is afterwards, but I gotta go by. No, it was not good. So we just got finished watching The Lion King. And all I have to say is... <laughs> Good lord. Yes. Me too, Nessie. Apparently they liked it, but they're not as big fans as the Lion King as I am. Actually, we need a selfie outside. <laughs> it was not good. Um, I, 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 I have nothing to say other than that. I, 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 whatever. So after that very exhausting viewing of the lion king we decide to go have some dinner so we go to uh margaritaville jimmy buffett's margaritaville in um myrtle beach first time ever i have eaten at margaritaville the at margaritaville did i say margaritaville uh the nachos were delicious i ordered the jambalaya which was also very good um and I also got to see the Margaritaville Hurricane for the first time ever. After that, Grandma and Junior went back to the hotel room. I had another couple drinks at Margaritaville. And then I went back to the hotel and passed out. The next day was the day that we were spending more time traveling Myrtle Beach, uh, going up and down the boardwalk, visiting the shops and everything like that. It was awesome. There were so many fun shops. There was a beef jerky shop in which I got several different flavors of beef jerky, including, like, elk and... Um, I don't know, a whole bunch of different random, maybe kangaroo or something like that. Different random jerkies, which I will make a video trying those flavors later on. But for now, let's just continue with our story. 
so that we have beef jerky. We had um, we went to the aquarium uh, at Myrtle Beach and we saw some sharks and turtles, um, some jellyfish, some upside down jellyfish. So here we have the upside down jellyfish. Jellyfish from the upside down. Gotta watch out for any Demogorgons. Uh, we visited a couple of other shops. We visited a candy shop where I got uh, some items to send to Brandon Ferris. Shout out to Brandon Ferris. All right, we're here at the candy store in Myrtle Beach, and I found a couple of things I plan on getting for Brandon Ferris. We've got a fabulous energy drink and a pickle flavored gummy pickle. Pickle flavored. So when we get home, we'll wrap these up, send them over to Brandon Ferris, and hopefully he'll see them in a video. Uh, so hopefully he enjoys those and, uh, you know, a couple of other souvenir type items that we, we purchased. Um, I also got to visit the Quickie Mart at Myrtle Beach, which is supposed to be a, um, re uh, inspired by the Quickie Mart from The Simpsons. Heading to the Quickie Mart right now to get a, uh, because I'm starving. Because she's starving. We're going to get a heat lamp hot dog. Um, I do have to say I was a little disappointed with that. Uh, it didn't have the same layout as the Quickie Mart in The Simpsons. Uh, but I did get myself a heat lamp hot dog. Got my heat lamp hot dog. I'm gonna put some mustard and ketchup on it. And a a squishy. Uh, gonna get it squishy. We got fuzz cola, cherry cough syrup, super sour lemonade, freezing Moe's orange cream, itchy berry blast. Radioactive man, nuclear cherry lime coolant. Which one do you want? Buzz Cola? This, I mean, this is a lot. This. Pop. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna go for some radioactive man cherry lime coolant. Let's see how this happens. So, um, yes, after all that, uh, day was getting late, so we decided to go ahead and head on home, but we had to make one more stop. On the trip down to Myrtle Beach, I kept hearing over the radio an advertisement for Myrtle Beach's largest souvenir shop, the Gay Dolphin. Of course, I had to stop at the Gay Dolphin, so Ness and I stopped there. We did a little shopping. And we came across um, some blind bags from the Gay Dolphin. Hey, Junior. We are here at the Gay Dolphin. Would you like a Gay Dolphin blind bag? I can kind of see through. You just see newspaper, though. Jib, what if I don't like it? Then don't get it. Spoiled sport. 
Uh, they were very interesting. Um, I think Nessa made out better than I did. She had the kids uh, blind bag, which included a couple of toys. It included uh, pirate coins, you know, plastic pirate coins, vampire teeth, an airplane, a couple of other items that she enjoyed. Uh, my blind bag wound up containing a bracelet, which I could not wear because of my metal allergies. Um, a ceramic angel, which is just not my style, a gift certificate giving my love to my one true love, which as you may know, I'm single and I don't plan on changing that anytime soon. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so my blind bag, while it had some great items, was just not something I could really benefit from. I also had wanted to videotape the opening of the blind bags, but Junior was so excited about it that she didn't want to, she didn't want to wait. So we hop on the road back, spend the next two hours driving back home, had a wonderful steak dinner, oh, delicious steak, potatoes, and corn. Mm. Uh, head to bed, and then bright and early the next morning, we had to get up and head back to the airport. It was a very short trip. It's all, all the time I could take off from work. Uh, so we get to the airport, get on the plane, get home. At this point, uh, at, around the Baltimore, we had another layover in Baltimore. I called Junior's father to let him know what the deal is, what time we'll be home. And apparently, he completely forgot that his girlfriend had decided to take Vanessa on a trip to Connecticut. So that means that as soon as we got off the plane in Islip to get home, we had to go straight home. Junior had to get in the car with Daddy and there, from there head straight to the ferry that was going to take them from Long Island to Connecticut. So my poor baby girl had just been traveling for like 24 hours straight at this point. I feel so bad for her. But in the end, we had a great trip to South Carolina. I would definitely go again. Um, I'm just waiting for some more time off my job so that I can afford to go again. And I definitely recommend Myrtle Beach. I wish I could have seen more of the beach, but time is limited. So, you know, maybe next time. Anyway, that's that's all from my Myrtle Beach uh, trip. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll come back. And if you would like to come back, please subscribe to my channel. And yeah, that's it for now. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.